Welcome to Train Signal. You're watching a video about how to remove a role in Windows Server 2008. Now I will tell you, this is not a very difficult task and you may have already figured out how to do it. But as we go through this course, there are times where you may want to undo or remove a role that we learned about in one video before you go on to learn about a new one in another video. So in case you don't already know how to do it, I will show you here. Now in order to show you, we have to go into Windows Server 2008. So I'm going to take you over to one of those computers right now. Okay, so here we are on one of our Windows Server 2008 computers. And I will tell you that the removal of a role is done pretty much the same way that you add a role. And it's done through the same utility, which is called the Server Manager. So to get there, I'm going to go ahead and click on Start, and then go to the Server Manager. Once in the Server Manager, go ahead and click on Roles. And then over here, you'll see here that we can add roles, but we can also remove roles. So I'm going to click on the Remove Roles link. Here I get a list of all the roles that are available to be installed on this computer. And you'll notice that some of the boxes are checked. Well, the boxes that are checked are the ones that have already been installed. If I want to remove a role, and in this instance, we're going to remove the DHCP server role. That is a role that we added so that we could distribute IP addresses from this server. And we don't need that service anymore. So to remove that role, we're just going to clear the checkbox. And then go ahead and click on Next. Now that's pretty much all there is to this wizard because here you get a confirmation screen and then you just click remove. It'll take a few moments to do so and as a matter of fact I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back with you as soon as it's done removing. Okay, a few moments have passed and the removal is just about complete. But you'll notice here that we have a warning icon telling us that we must restart in order to finish this process. And that is something that is a little bit different than when we add roles. Typically when you add a role, there is no reboot necessary. There are a couple roles that do require reboots for both directions, but most of them don't require a reboot to add, and many of them do require a reboot to remove. So anyway, this one does require a reboot, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Close, at which point it's going to ask me, do I want to restart now? I'll click Yes. I'm going to let the computer reboot, and while it's rebooting, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video once again, and I'll be right back with you as soon as we have booted back up again. Okay, the computer has finished rebooting, and now we're going to go ahead and log in. So I'll press Control-Alt-Delete, enter my password to log in, and while it's logging in, there is one thing I want you to notice, and that is that when it first comes to the desktop, it's going to bring us right back into the server manager, even if we've asked the server manager not to open by default. And there we go. It opens up. You'll notice there is a box check that says, do not show me this at logon. And the reason it shows up anyway is because of this, because it needs to finish the wizard that you started before the reboot. So basically, this is going to take just a moment here while the, the bar goes across the screen and says resuming configuration. And momentarily here, it'll be done. And that's pretty much it. And there we go. The following roles are being removed, DHCP server. And there you go. DHCP server removal succeeded. I can click close. If I were to click on roles, you'll see that DHCP does not show up here anymore. I can close my server manager and go about my business with the rest of managing the network. That role has been removed. So that's pretty much it. That's how you remove a role.